What's going on everybody? Welcome back to some scrap mechanic challenges. In today's video I built a go-kart track, which I'm pretty proud of. Here's one of the go-karts. I did have to modify them so the ones on the track don't look like this. And right now I'm just floating around in build mode. If we look at the map you can see all my outbuildings there. As well as some lakes that I built, just for some aesthetics, because I had some dead space there. Now, if we turn over here... You can see I put all these on display. Kind of like a go-kart track would. Uh, we have, like, Swing Around Fun Town and stuff like that. Got a little duck trophy going on there. And I did a checkerboard pattern around here because, you know, racing. Over here we have a little snack bar. You can't do anything over here, obviously, but I used one of the observer bots and dropped him down into the floor so it looks like he is taking your order. And we got our little open sign here, the little cash register. I went ahead and put down two of these juice bottles and then use some pipes, feed it over to this soda machine. Got our little sink here, gotta be clean, because our produce is rotten. <laughs> um, unfortunately, you can't spawn in like bananas and carrots and stuff from uh, survival mode, but no big deal. And over here we got the sun shake machine, and hello sir, you're a little close. <laughs> So then just some basic decorations, like a little table here. We have a fan. If you press the switch, it'll turn on. Built a little mock bathroom. So unlike the uh, off-road challenge that I did, I just wanted to put a little more detail into this one. So we got some signs over here, some plants. Here's more of that checkerboard pattern, and here's the seat, wheels, and engine. You know, all the stuff that goes on the go-kart just kind of on display in here. And over here, we have a little bride. Which I need to cover up the back on, so I'll have to update the challenge. <laughs> and then just a little spinner here that you can jump on, and each seat is connected to their corresponding switch. Go ahead and turn that off. <laughs> and you come outside, and here are the four go-karts for you. So I built four, just in case you and your friends want to play. And whoever passes this sensor first will trigger the start of the race. So whoever gets past it, and I have it set up for one race, and all of these sensors are set up to color mode. I need my crosshairs for this. <laughs> so, like, this one is the dark red, then you have yellow, teal, and lime green. And whoever passes first will win the race. So then if we come over here, you can see I built a little path to a lake, a little bench, you know, if you want to sit and just kind of relax. Here's a little garage. You can't get into it basically just to reduce lag. I didn't want people messing around with it and causing frame drops and whatnot. Trying to make it the most leg-free experience that it can be. And then over here we have some grandstands on that side, this side, and this side. So from here you can see people come through the bridge, go through the chicane. Over here you can see people go up on the bridge, and over here you can just see them come down the straight. So if you don't want to participate, you can just sit there and watch. Then I have a little out bathroom here, just a basic little one, nothing too fancy. But then if we come on the other side of the bridge, I built another lake, put that in quotes, lake. 
and built a bunch of these trees and just welded them down to kind of fill out the empty space. So that's the whole track. Let me go ahead and zoom out so that you can see all of it. So you start out coming down the straight, go around this left hand up the bridge, and then we have a little divot there so that you have to squeeze in if you have too many people near each other. Hang a right, hang another right, another right, under the bridge, through the chicane, and then you make a right, and a left, right, left, left, and then you come back around to the front. So I'm going to go ahead and save and test. And here's my mechanic. And we'll go ahead and jump into one of the carts and take it around and see how fast I can get around the track. Now one thing that I did here that's... One thing that I didn't do here that I did on the off-road race... I had a viewing tower, but since I only have four spawn pads and four cars, I kind of figured... You know, nobody's going to be sitting around. Those are really just decoration over there. And one of the funny things about these carts is I have the engine set to the lowest speed because otherwise, whenever you crank it around these turns, it would just flip because of the wheelbase bearing being too narrow. And that's kind of a problem with scrap mechanic. You know, you can see me bouncing around on these blocks and kind of drifting and veering. So I only have it hooked up to the rear wheels. Up, oh, see. You can see I kind of tipped a little there. If I have it hooked up to all four, it's not a fun time. You just kind of flip every single turn. With it hooked up to just the rears, you can kind of drift it around. And you can see I'm coming up to the end pretty quickly. Well, quickly is a relative term. These carts are not quick. <laughs> But what go-kart is as quick as a car, so I can't really complain about it. And as I come around here, you'll see as I trigger that, the finishing animation pops up, and I finished in a 127. So that was my little go-kart track. Uh, if you want to test it out for yourself, it's down below. Of course, and I did link the go-karts by themselves down below. So if you want to go ahead and give it a try, I would love to see how you guys like it. Let me know down below, and I'll see y'all next time.